one year ago today, Byron Williams died after being arrested by Las Vegas Metro Police. He said, I can't breathe 17 times before dying. Today, his family is still searching for answers. 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez has the latest in this case. Before George Floyd and Elijah McLean, there was Byron Williams. The 50 year old man died a year ago, but there are still many questions related to his dad and his family keeps fighting for justice. These are the images that still cause a lot of pain to the family of Byron Williams. He was riding his bicycle when he was spotted by officers. After a pursuit on foot, he was put to the ground. These will be his last minutes. When medical attention arrived, he wasn't responsive. He died at the hospital a year after his death. This is all what they have. That's why today they, along with their legal team, made a call for further transparency from Metro Police and for the release of all body camera footage. The Las Vegas Police Department will not share, won't share, all of the video that it has with respect to what happened to Byron Williams. Because if they did share, that would be called transparency. And transparency isn't what they want. They want us to dig and fight. And for this family to continue to ask questions as to what happened that night. They deserve justice. They deserve answers. There is still a 14 minute span where police officers turn off their cameras before medical attention arrived. The coroner's office said Williams died from methamphetamine intoxication with other medical conditions and prone restraint. Without body cameras and without video evidence, we never get to the truth either. Because who would have been there to speak for Byron had those body cameras not been on for that little period of time that they were? There would have been nobody because Byron died. His family says is still mourning him. It doesn't get better. It doesn't. It gets worse, especially when we have not gotten justice, especially when there are so many accounts and, and people that are still being murdered in similar manners. Enough is enough and it needs to stop. Reports from Metro Force investigation team are still pending. I contact Metro Police, but I'm still waiting for an answer. Meanwhile, a wrongful death lawsuit is expected to be filed soon. But the lawyers told me that even though they prefer to have access to all the evidence, they will still fight it with or without it. And let me quote, fight fire with fire. Astrid Mendes, 13 Action News.